Welcome to our section about the circle and some classic problems about, again, the circle. In this video, we're going to learn classic problems that involve the circles and other figures. Let's go ahead and start. Let's say that you have this typical problem. In the figure below, the two circles are concentric. Remember, concentric means that they have the same center. If the radius of the larger circle is two times the radius of the smaller circle, what is the ratio of the area of the smaller to the larger circle? Okay, first let's see what we have. We know that the smaller circle has radius equals x. Therefore, the larger circle, because it's two times the radius of the smaller one, that means that the radius is going to be two times x. Now, what do I need? I need the area of the larger circle, which is pi times r squared, and the area of the smaller circle, which is pi times r squared. Remember, the question asks you, what is the ratio of the area of the smaller circle to the larger circle? Beautiful. What do I do now? Now that I know this, I can go ahead and substitute the value of x and the value of 2x into my formulas. Remember, the area of the larger circle was pi times r. R, in this case, is going to be 2x. And for the smaller one, it's just going to be pi times x. Now that I get 2x times 2x gives me 4x squared, and x times x gives me x squared. Now that I have my values, I can go ahead and substitute them here into my question. What is the ratio of the, the area of each one? I put here, this is x times x squared, and this is going to be... I'm sorry, this is pi times x squared, and this is pi times 4x squared. Now I can eliminate the values of pi's, and I can also eliminate the x squares. Remember, once you eliminate, you're going to have a 1 on the top. Therefore, my answer is going to be 1 to 4. What is the ratio of the area of the smaller to the larger circle? Well, the ratio is going to be 1 to 4 or 1 to dot 4. Your answer can be written either this way or this way. Let's do this problem. In the figure below, there are three identical circles with centers O and radius of one centimeter each. They are externally tangent to each other. What is the perimeter of the shaded figure? They want to know how much is this size plus this size plus this size. Because remember, perimeter means that you have to add the size of whatever they're asking you. In this case, the only thing that I can notice is that the radius from here to here has to be 1. The radius from here to here is also 1. Well, let's see what else we can say. Also from here to here, this is 1. From here to here, you guessed it, 1. Again, from here to here, 1. And from here to here, 1. Let's go ahead and do it like this. There we go. Now that I know this, if this is 1 and this is 1, this is going to be equals to 2 centimeters. Again, this is also what? 2 centimeters. And then this is going to be, you guessed it, 2 centimeters. Knowing this information is crucial because now I can see that this is a equilateral triangle. Because this is an equilateral triangle, this guy has to be 60 degrees. This guy has to be 60 degrees as well. And you guessed it, this other guy also has to be 60 degrees. Now I remember that if I have the radius, which is 1, and if I know the degree between these two radios, I can actually figure it out the arc of the circle, only this little piece. Bingo! If I figure it out, this piece plus this piece plus this piece, that's going to give me the perimeter of the shaded figure. Love it! Let's do it. Now we're going to do the arc of every single circle. So, I remember the formula is x divided by 360 times 2 pi r. Let's go ahead and substitute. x has to be 60 divided by 360, 2 times pi, and then times 1. Now I can eliminate the zeros. I can actually simplify this 6 and this 36 into 1 over 6. And finally, I can simplify this 6 and this 2 with a 3 right here. Therefore, each arc is actually 1 over 3 pi. 
But remember, not only I need one, I need to add this one plus this one plus this one. Since they're all the same, I can go ahead and say that three times this arc will give me the perimeter of the figure. When I multiply three times one over three pi, I get that my answer is pi. Moreover, if you add one third plus one third plus one third, that's just gonna give you one. Beautiful. This is a classic problem. Let's go ahead and do another one. If the perimeter of the square inscribed inside the circle is 24 units, what is the area of the shaded region? I love this problem because this problem comes up a lot and look how easy it is to do it. The first thing you need to know is that the shaded region is always the big area minus the small area. All right, first let's identify who's big and who's small. Okay, the circle is gonna be the big guy and the square is gonna be the small guy. I am very happy because they tell me that there's a square inscribed inside the circle. Therefore, I can go ahead and say that if the perimeter is 24, actually, P is equals to 4 times S, and then 24 is equals to 4 times S because I'm just substituting what's given, and now that I get that the size is equals to 6, this is awesome because now I know my small area. My small area is going to be 6 times 6. Now, I can simplify this and say that a small area is equal to 36. Moreover, this is very important. If I know this is 6, and I know this is 6, I know also that this is 6, and this is 6. And the reason why, because you have a square, and a square has equal size. Now, remember that inside a square, there's always a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Okay, if this is 6 and this is 6, I can see that the diagonal of this square is also the diameter of the circle. Therefore, knowing that, I can say that if this is 6 and this is 6, well, guess what? The diagonal is going to be 6 times the square root of 2. Now that I know this, I can figure it out that the radius is actually half the diameter. Well, I divide that by 2 and I get that my radius is 3 times the square root of 2. Now I can follow my formula. Pi times 3 times the square root of 2 squared is going to give me, well, let's go ahead and do it, 3 times 3 is equals to 9, and a square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just basically going to be 2. 9 times 2 is equals to 18. The big area is 18 times pi. Now I know that the shaded region is going to be what? 18 pi minus 36.